Now I've had this video planned and lined up my sleeve for quite a while now and it's a mod that I downloaded a few months ago and it's essentially a 1923 Formula One car so it's almost 100 years old and I can't wait to see uh, what it's going to be like. We're going to throw down around the 1966 version of Monaco of course because this weekend it's the Monaco Grand Prix and this is the start of the kind of Monaco themed content for the week so I definitely wanted to get this video done at some point and I was waiting for the right time the right occasion and we finally have it so we're going to just see if we can drive this 100 year old F1 car and see what it's like and how different it is to the current machinery and I'm curious to see you know what kind of lap times obviously it's an old version of Monaco so it's not fully accurate I want to see what the downforce is like and have a bit of fun um, I don't think we're going to throw it down with some AI because apparently the AI on the 1966 version of Monaco are not that great so apparently they can't even finish a lap so it's just going to be a video of me trying to go as fast as possible in a retro F1 car so yeah if that sounds exciting for you guys hopefully you enjoy the video if you do leave a like and uh, the links to the mods used in the video will be linked down below as always on Seto Corsa and if you're new to the channel hit the red subscribe button guys for more content like this and let's jump into the action well here we are then you join me in Assetto Corsa and this is a 1923 Fiat so essentially a very very early prototype of an F1 car and yeah this is gonna be pretty interesting uh, right hand side ish drive on the car it's not fully centered and a very very early prototype of an F1 car. I literally don't know what to expect. It sounds decent enough, I guess. And I, I literally know nothing about this. There's no wings. There's, I think, maybe three gears, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to jump in and see what happens and see if we can set some good lap times. Right, here we are in the garage. We've got a couple of different um, camera views, actually, to go through here. Uh, we've got this kind of custom copy view, but because it's off-center, it feels really weird. Uh, we've got some other alternate camera views here as well, but I'm just going to go for the lined-up nose cam. Right, so let's drive out of the pit. So first gear selected around the 1966 Monaco, and we're going to get in the way. So easy does it. It just sounds like a tractor. Oh, we're slowly climbing 90 k's up the hill. We're going to go up to third gear. It literally just sounds like there's no power at all. There's no RPMs. We're at third gear, 115 kilometers an hour. That's pretty decent. That's motorway speed in Spain as we make our way into uh, Massenet. 75 kilometers an hour. Not too shabby. Casino. There's literally no downforce. I can already tell. This is going to be one of them ones where we need to kind of push the, the car around with a bit of the, the throttle. Oh my god, the car doesn't stop. The car doesn't stop. Slow down. Okay, the turning is actually not too bad in low speed. Definitely going to have to drift this car though to get it around here fast. As we go into the lowest hairpin for the first time. Going to try and mess around with the throttle. You can see my, tr my throttle trace in the bottom left. So you get an idea as to what I'm trying to do. It's actually not too bad. We've done pretty good so far. Just got to be careful with the understeer. Okay, we're on the limiter. We're going to have to accelerate as we get off the curb through the tunnel. All right, can we go flat through here? Oh, I'm on the limiter again. You literally, the car just sounds so monotonous. You don't even realize you're on the limiter. Uh, down towards the Nouvelle Chicane. I'm going to just get on the brakes early here. We've got no downforce to slow the car down. Oh my God, I'm in a bit hot here. No, not actually. Okay. Okay, the car's better than I thought. It's not too bad. You can get it slowed down. This is now... Uh, to back, bit of a jump here. We're going to be very cautious through here. Okay, yep, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Man, I'm pretty good at this. And then the final corner, La Rascasse, which I believe is just a hairpin in this. Where is the breaking point for this corner? Oh my god, here it comes. Slow down. Stop, 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 stop. I'm on full break. Oh, turn. Yes, okay. Right. Let's go for a lap then. In anger, I'm having to look down to the bottom left to see when I've got a shift because I literally have no idea based off sound, which is what I normally do with F1. Oh, no, go left. That's a pit lane. We can't do that. That's going to ruin my straight line speed momentum. Up towards turn one. Sandoval, no heroics into here. Oh, yes. Love that. Getting the back end kicked out with the throttle there as we head up the hill. Oh, no, get off the curb, get off the curb, get off the curb, get off the curb. Easy, easy, easy. All right, we're going to break here for Massonet, second gear. OK, 
Can we drift it through here, maybe? A little bit of a drifterino. Flick it right for casino. Oh, look at that. Rhyming and everything whilst driving. Mate, this is... This is interesting. This is an experience. Oh, no. Slow down. I forgot about the brakes. Uh, yep, there we go. Nicely done from Mirabeau. Look at that. Kicking the back end out. Into the lowest hairpin. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Drift it, drift it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I'm loving this. Old-fashioned F1 car. Having to work behind the wheel to, to get the car to turn. Yes, lovely from 48. Oh, I'm on the limiter again. I keep forgetting to shift, man. It's so strange. I think we've got three gears, so I've got a, have we got a fourth gear. Let me, let me shift here. Okay, we've got a fourth gear. Do we have five? No, we don't. That's it. We've got four gears in this car. Um, new Velcro chicane. Third, second. Uh oh, I'm in a bit hot here. But actually, better than I thought. There's loads of space actually through there, to be fair. Even though that seemed like it. To back. We're going to brake now. Uh oh. Over the jump. Oh, the yes. Look at that. What a beautiful corner. Drift. Yes. Right. Now we've got a Tronel uh, Larascas here, the final corner. Gonna break now. Oh no, I think I've gone a bit hot here. I've gone a bit hot here. It's just, listen, it's just a scratch. Just a scratch. Don't worry about it. Let's, let's keep going. Right, let's finish the lap. And let's see, we've got a reference to aim for. So around the 1966 version of Monaco, it's a 2 minute 4.3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, tab back to the pits and look at the setup real quick. Now what I want to know is, can we change anything on the setup here? So we've got gears, which we can't seem to change. Four gears, tires, fuel. And that's it. So literally, there's nothing we can change in the car. So um, I have no idea. We've only got one set of tires. We've got no other options. We've got the PSI. So what I'm going to do really is take the fuel out. We'll go with like five liters. I've got fuel consumption turned off. So we'll get the benefit of the weight reduction, but there won't be any fuel consumption. Um, and yeah, we're going to try again and see if we can get below two minutes. To be fair, Chase Cam could be a vibe in this car in fairness this would be interesting chase cam i mean you get to appreciate the the skids maybe not oh, that's a bit too much of a skid there whoops can we go into the water though i wonder if that's possible let me try for the culture here oh no okay no no one we can't go into the water fair enough invisible barrier right let's go for an improved lap so we're going to make sure to not outbreak ourselves into a uh, last cast here and try to get an actual clean start to the lap and also try to avoid driving through the pit lane. Let's see how late I can break into here. No, that's still too hot. Slow down. Stop, 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 stop. Open up the final corner as much as possible. This is all for the for the best possible exit. Alright, second gear. Third gear now. Can we hit fourth before turn one maybe? I think we are. Yes, we are. Fourth gear maybe. Not quite, not quite. Break, 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 break. Second gear. Oh, mate, look at this. Oh, never mind. That's a wall. Let's just keep going. We're going to wall ride it and uh, just pretend nothing happened. Up towards Massonet. I feel like I can break a bit later into this corner. I think I've been a bit too cautious so far. Bring the car over to the right to open up the corner. Yes. Initiate the drift. Oh, no. Now I'm going to scrub wide. Come on. Come on, car. Give me some downforce. Flick it into Casino. Just mess around with the throttle here to try and get some kind of wheel spin. This car has enough power for it. Now towards a mirror boat. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Drift. Oh, come on. Love that. Carcontrol.com. Into Lowe's hairpin. No, that's not the right line through there, Chief. But we'll get away with it. As we hit the hay belt. Through Portier. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Come on. Come on, car. Work with me here. Right. Avoid the pedestrian zone on the left i think they actually use the um uh what's the word i'm looking for here i think they use the the pedestrian the pedestrian area as curbs i can't think of the word right now um but yeah i think they use them as uh, actual curbs to use oh my god i've committed here oh my goodness man, that's close we've actually smashed that we're two seconds up this is great right to back can we commit to here yeah 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 I wonder if this car has enough power for a for a little flick spin. Do you reckon we could rev it up, rev it up? Do we have enough juice in this car to flick it? Yes, we do. Come on, lovely, nice. Okay, 
Let's go for another lap. Okay, another lap. Let's do this. Other towards Sandevot. No heroics into here. That's better this time. Look at that. Little drift on the exit. No wall riding. Keeping it clean. This is the lap. I'm telling you now, this is going to be the one. Up towards Massonet and Casino. Bit more commitment on the entry here. In this shape, mid corner drift. Come on, throttle. Work with me here. Open up Casino now. Yes. Smash that. Down the hill we go. This is a good lap so far. Slow, slow, slow. Ah, we'll ride. We'll push on anyway. 1.8 seconds up. Now towards lows. Can I get a little drift on the go? Yes. Perfect. Maybe a bit too much there as we hit the hay bell again. Oh, I'm overdriving this car now. Over the curbing again. Through Portier. I'm just going to drive on the curb here. Use it as a way to prolong the corner exit. Let's see if we can hit fourth gear. Again through here. Through the tunnel we go. Lovely. Fourth gear. There it is. 145 kilometers. Not quite 150. Into the chicane we go. Just try to hold on to the car there. Very, very close to hitting the wall. To back. Going to break a bit earlier this time. Uh, kiss the wall there, that's okay, we'll get away with that. Couple of wall rides, but that's fine. Now we just got to make sure we nail our Raskas. Can we get this up below two minutes? On the brakes now. Breaking as hard as I can. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I've overcommitted there big time using the, the curb to try and get some kind of corner exit up to the line. Though, will it be enough to get into a sub two minute? No, not quite. It's going to be a 2 minute one six. Right, I'm going to get this lap. Just you wait. I am going to get this sub 2 minute lap. And when I do, you'll see it. Oh my god, I managed to hit 150. Oh yes. This could be the lap. Maybe not. Hmm. Yes, there we go. 58.8. Did it. Nice, clean lap that was. You would have heard that lap with just engine sounds alone. Honestly, this car just sounds like a tractor. It sounds like a tractor, honestly. Um, we're going to run a replay, though, just to see it from the retro kind of camera to get a vibe of what it was like from an off-board perspective because i'm pretty sure this car looks a lot faster than what it is from an off-board shot and I, hopefully the cameras are good enough and you guys will get to enjoy some drifts
Well, there we go then. That is it for this video. And you get to see the multiple angles of the lap itself. You can actually really appreciate in the replay how much more I'm actually working behind the wheel, trying to get the car to, to rotate. I actually even used the clutch through the lows hairpin. If you watch it back, I actually used the clutch to try and initiate a bit of a drift to get the car rotated also at the final corner as well at a cast just trying to get the rear end to flick round to make up as much time as possible i didn't hit many apexes this car is good fun to drive i will admit whenever i've driven retro cars it's great fun especially if you have a h pattern old-fashioned shifter and you know how to um, heel and toe with the pedal so you can kind of mess around you can have a lot of fun with this i'm no good with it so i can't do it but Honestly, if you do have it, I honestly do recommend it because it's a lot of fun. I'll leave the links down below, guys. It's such a different experience and the downforce levels and power levels in 100 years have come along such a long way with Formula 1. And um, yeah, that was good fun. And I might do another video with these cars. You never know, down the line, uh, you might see something different with these. But hopefully, guys, enjoyed the video. Anyway, if you did, leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this, guys. Let's try and hit over a 1,000 likes on this video. As always, the mods will be linked down below. And also, a big shout out to the members of my channel for supporting my content i always appreciate you guys and uh, coming back for more so shout out to you guys and finally check out two videos on screen if you have missed them but that's it from me here today and i'll see you next time until then take care and let's go back from me